Welcome to this episode of YouTube. We've had a little bit of a tug of war with the carcass due to some colder than normal temperatures, and that uh, resulted in a unique situation where Grayson actually came into the medical pen and slept with Rika. That's not something that Grayson usually does. He doesn't like the confinement of areas, but because we took the hay out of the pump housing and um, the den being a little bit wet, um, he wanted a place that was comfortable to rest and happened to choose Rika's favorite resting spot. So probably a little bit of bonding going on there as well. Axel that night um, stayed under the eaves. But as the sun comes out and warms uh, during the day, they will lay in the snow. Uh, they are uh, perfectly adapted to being in, in snowy weather. It's just that uh, sub-zero weather when things are kind of damp um, makes it a little bit challenging. So they continue to have a tug of war with that carcass on Sunday morning, so not much left for the meat. So the colder weather stimulates a little bit more eating. And that whole tug of war is all about getting resources. You can see Axel uh, chasing off Rika a little bit uh, as she tries to get her food resources. But a lot of resting going on right now. I would say the wolves are moving towards a more crepuscular dawn and dusk kind of activity. Uh, you can see Rika again developed uh, as a 10 month old pup. She is 77 pounds. Uh, hoping uh, to see uh, her uh, weight increase as uh, time goes on here. And uh, we are seeing the difference of the facial masking uh, that makes her uh, quite unique. And obviously that grayish coloration that camouflages well with the rock. So we give them some wood chips this time of the year rather than hay to be able to have a little bit of a resting spot that has some bug repellency. So there will be wood chips in the slate den as well as under the eaves um, as the season progresses. So we'll leave you with a little bit of a rally howl. We've been hearing a lot more howling going on with Grayson and Axel and Rika. We'll see you next time. Ooh.